it's like a dream come true. This is like, this is a, you always wanted to direct or did it come like this? Yeah, I've always just loved all the different facets of the process. I always love being on a set and watching what everybody does and everybody has their part to contribute, whether it's, you know, the people working on the camera or the lights or the production design or et cetera. And then in the post-production, you're the editing and the music and it all plays in to how the story gets told. So I'm fascinated with, with all of those different elements. And when I was coming up with the story for Don John, uh, I was having ideas for all of those different things. You know, okay, it'd be cool if I played it like this, but then it'd be cool if, if the music came in like that at the same time. And so that's why I felt like, all right, well, let me just do it then. Let me make all of these ideas happen. Scarlett, does that make you want to go to that, go to direct? I know that you have a script coming up or something like that. Yeah, I'm directing a project next summer, actually. But it certainly was really That's inspiring. Awesome. It was, thank you, but it was so inspiring to see, to watch Joe go through the whole process and kind of see how, you know, kind of discover how he was handling it and, you know, just also to see Joe kind of come to life on set in a way that was really, you know, I mean, I knew him just by collaborating sort of, you know, in the actor-director, you know, conversations we were having before, you know, in the rehearsal process, but then actually to see him on set and, and, and watch his command of the, of the set and, and uh, you know, just kind of be able to, experience the crew kind of follow his lead and 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 uh you know his enthusiasm was infectious and that was that was really inspiring for me it was like okay you know i see it happening like maybe it can work for me i don't know i hope when you do it you have someone that you have a, a star that's as supportive as you were to me she was involved from the very beginning like you were one of the first people to read the script i think he's and looking for a job yeah, yeah, right? you know what i mean because you know because yeah. i could be pretty supportive oh wait a minute uh, that's funny looking to pay the, get paid the big bucks yeah. <laughs> see. the thing is that see you're not the only 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 one doing this directing or, or producing their own movie. I mean, uh, big names like Brad Pitt, uh, George Clooney, they're doing that. What does that mean? Don't they give you the good projects in Hollywood now? Do, don't you find uh, the projects that they give you interesting? You have to do them yourself? <laughs> hmm. uh, well, look, I, I'm very, very grateful to get to work for filmmakers who come up with brilliant ideas and have their stories to tell and, and, and help them tell their stories. Um, but, you know, this was a story that that was, you know, coming around in, in my head and something that I wanted to say, something that I had noticed about the world that I wanted to point out. And uh, I like doing both things. How did it be in a movie on the, about addiction? I saw that you, you got the addiction word out of the title, but it's still a movie about addiction. How, how, how to fit into a, a story like this? You know, I don't think it's really a movie about addiction. I think when it was titled that is sort of more of a symbol, um, you know, like, the Maltese Falcon is not a movie about a statue of a bird, even though that statue is, you know, a very important part of the movie that people are talking about constantly, and you see it all the way, and the last shot of the movie is that statue. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, I always thought that, you know, the word addiction was sort of more of a symbol of the fact that this guy has a sort of a narrow-minded point of view, and he can't get out. He's trapped in a cycle. And um, certainly he watches, you know, a lot of pornography, but it, that, that same mindset, that narrow-minded um, point of view is evident in how he is with his family and how he is with his friends and how he is at his church and how he is towards his own body, et cetera. And, um, so that word addiction, I felt like people were taking it really literally when I never meant it that way. And, and uh, I just love the fact that you use the Maltese Falcon as <laughs> your reference. My God. You impressed to no end, Joe. <laughs> I thought about that a lot. My goodness. There were there were a number of uh, of choices you could, you know, you could have <laughs> said like National Lampoon's vacation, like Christmas vacation. What's the central metaphor in Christmas vacation? And they talk about going on a Christmas vacation <laughs> that, a lot, that's right? That's true. Don't they? You're right, but it's oh, not it's a movie Christmas. about Christmas vacation. Yeah, that's true. Merci beaucoup.